Hi, my name's Sean Gladwell. I'm uh, back in Sydney to launch a new project with uh, the Sherman Contemporary Art Foundation. And I've called the project uh, the Lacrima Chair. And uh, it's all new work for me. I wanted to organize my ideas around issues of flight, vision, and space. In the show, I have a video portrait of one of my favorite historical Australian figures, which is Nancy Bird Walton very um, famous uh, female aviator. And for me, Nancy Bird is such a great um, identity because she was a very strong woman. Um, she launched into the airline industry at a very early phase of its development. As a woman, it wouldn't have been an easy task, but she had this force of will and an incredible talent. As a part of that installation, I also have an actual aircraft chair from a contemporary airliner and it's under a shower. It's more about this connection that we have to aircraft travel and how our bodies supposedly ergonomically fit or in many cases don't fit into those chairs. People are encouraged to sit down and get really wet in that chair. I also wrote a book with a few academic friends of mine that sort of secretly explain some of the works in the show. There was a whole lot of art historical and personal references that went into that work. And that kind of is a show that's connected to where I am now, which is at UNSW Art and Design, formerly COFA, where I used to be a student. This is a show which is more of a conversation between works that's in SCAFs, uh, Collections Plus format. This is one of a series of shows where a curator, or in this case two curators, select one artwork of mine from Jean's collection or several artworks and they find other works in other collections and bring them into some sort of conversation. So become kind of marauders of each other, they sort of um, generate a dialogue between each piece. And that wasn't it's something that I haven't had a direct influence over, it's been me to come here and have a look at this new way of um, seeing my own work, so it's a real thrill. One thing that I've tried to do in a lot of my work over the years is to try and differentiate the kind of popular way of seeing certain sports like surfing or skateboarding, um, different kinds of extreme sports that they call now from, um, you know, because the popular representations of those sports is very fast, it's very furious, there's a, a driving, blaring soundtrack and it is, I've sort of shifted maybe to an, the notion of a portrait, like a conceptual portrait. But even then, there is the same sense of time. There's a time signature where I, I want it to be more of a meditation on those images, rather than those images just beating down on you with speed and force, the sound and fury strategy. I kind of like people to have to work at it and meditate on it. The same methodology is in place, I'm, but I am trying to push it. I'm trying to kind of uh, maybe extend the range of my work somehow.